there are some great materials that exist for teaching and learning how to play brushes on the drum set. I have a concern, however, with most of them. They get students making a lot of different patterns that a lot of beginning and intermediate students aren't prepared to make. What happens then is you lose the feel and the continuum in terms of the time that should be part and parcel of a good brush sound. So what I would like to offer as an option for beginning and intermediate drummers to begin working on before they go into those brush materials is simply learning how to make circles. You can make them counterclockwise, clockwise, you can have one hand going each way, it doesn't matter. But what I'm talking in terms of is a circle that has a pulse where each beat is initially. One pulse for each beat. For me, it's at the top of the drum, and I make my circles in a counterclockwise fashion. So you would hear a sound like this. That's great for a medium tempo tune. What about a slower tune like a ballad? Simply make two circles for each beat. A large circle on the number and a smaller circle that happens on the end of each beat, like this. What about a fast tune, an up-tempo tune? In that case, you would want to think in terms of a circle for every two beats and having the pulse be on two and four with the hi-hat, like this. Now you can have things happening besides those circles. I'm going to take each of those tempos, play a little bit of each of them, and elaborate on them a little bit. But notice that that basic pulse never leaves. starting with circles that allow you to feel the time, elaborating on them so that you have a more complete time feel by incorporating ride symbol-like patterns, usually in the right hand. After that, a student's ready to get into like Ed Thigpen's brush book, Louis Belson's brush book, the old Philly Joe Jones brush artistry book, if you can find a copy. Any of those are great places to go after your circles feel right.